Hi, uh, my name is Ashley Davis. I'm doing the vlog for my new student dialogue. I was in the section that was heterosexual norms in a not so heterosexual world. That is a subject that it's very relevant to what we're doing, uh, what's going on in society today. But it's still a very touchy subject. And it was actually it's kind of surprised that uh, Clemson had had that as one of their subjects. Um, I think that's, that's great because so I feel like it's swept under the rug so many times. It's something that people try to keep hush-hush, but I'm finding that a lot. Um, maybe it's just in college or maybe it's just society is is opening up a little bit more, but it's it's something that I've heard a lot more about recently than I probably have my whole high school career, <coughs> um, which is, it's great. I personally feel that you should, trying to define what a human is, like uh, breaking them down into components or trying to find out how they tick, uh, honestly, I just don't think it makes sense. People are who they are, they don't have to have a reason. It might not be, it, it is not socially acceptable to be gay or lesbian or bisexual or uh, transgender, but who are we to judge? I, I believe that, you know, someone higher than me, whether that's God or Buddha, I don't know, that they know more than I do, more than any human can possibly know, and I have faith that, that that's something real. Um, as for the dialogue itself, um, I feel like we attempted to have a dialogue. I don't know if it was actually completely successful. Um, it felt like out of, I want to say, the 12, 15 people that were there, maybe four, four or five constantly spoke up, which was, it was kind of annoying, honestly, that uh, a couple people were, like, silent basically the entire time. Towards the end, it got a little bit better. People were um, speaking up more, especially when we did an exercise where uh, we were a color, and based upon that color, we either lost friends, families, community members, um, if we were to come out of the closet. I thought that was a really great exercise. It got everyone involved and it got people talking. Uh, before that though, it was, it was very like a question would be thrown out and it was just kind of silent. I felt like, um, I was, I was very vocal. I felt like I kind of, like I had to say something. Like they were just waiting for someone to break the silence, I don't know. Um, that was kind of annoying. Like I, I don't know how to fix that, or I don't really have any suggestions to help that. Um, I guess maybe more exercises where we're really, really involved, um, like the icebreaker at the very beginning when we were learning names was, "What's your favorite pickup line?" That was, uh, I didn't think it was very effective. Um, so, like I said, I felt like I was a very vocal part. Um, I, I tried to make as many comments as possible. There were a few times where I felt like it went more from a dialogue to, to kind of a debate. Um, because I think the subject matter was very, you were on one side of the fence and an hour and a half, two hour discussion is not going to change your mind that quickly. So, if you felt that maybe uh, being being uh, gay or, or lesbian was a genetic factor, that that's what you thought that you weren't going to really change your mind in, in like I said, in two hours. So, <coughs> just having like a really sensitive matter. Um, that that subject matter might not have been the best idea for a dialogue. 
<coughs> for a two hour dialogue with people you did not know and uh, just getting people out of their shell to talk about something like this and then um, getting them to talk about it in a way where it was it was just seeing other people's ideas and not really like having yours that are set in stone um, I noticed especially one person one um, one guy was very like uh, sitting back the whole time like arms crossed very like I'm uncomfortable I don't want to say anything so maybe it's just like like I said the subject matter that was that was really kind of difficult to have a dialogue out of and like some of the other subjects like um, things about body image where it's not you're not really touching on like religious beliefs would have been more fun to do or I think we would have had more back and forth and it wouldn't have been so much like well I personally believe that there's a genetic factor that make there's a gay gene. Uh, that was, I don't know. Like I said, maybe it's, I thought it was great personally to get it out there to talk about it because it's something that, especially being around so many people our own age and this is where this time in our lives is when a lot of people start to think, oh, maybe I don't really like boys, I really like girls, and it's the time to experiment where it's more socially acceptable. This is a great time to talk about it, but being in the South, being in more of a small school, it's, I, f uh, I felt like some people were, were kind of uncomfortable with it. Um, that was just my personal observation. And uh, to the question of why I think this is a component of Library 100 is just that fact where we're talking about things that are a little bit more difficult maybe but it's a great way to uh, start talking with people about things that maybe you've never talked about as openly before. Um, do I think this was an, a useful tool? Um, for me personally, no, not really. I didn't really get any lifelong friends from my dialogue. It was it was during lunch. I wasn't super, in, like, really excited about it. Um, it was a great subject matter for me. I thought so. Um, I thought it was really interesting to hear some people's opinions, even if they were a little hesitant about them. Um, and I also thought that uh, the close, l small group was the best way to do that. Um, any larger, it would have people would have just been silent the whole time. So I think it was a good tool in that respect. However, I personally didn't think it was as worth my time as maybe uh, it was supposed to be. So those are my thoughts on uh, the heterosexual norms in a not so heterosexual world.